sights they are off Vega streaking across the night sky lighting up the skies over the spaceport over the Amazon rainforest our passengers have started their journey Pleiad Neo, Broforce, Sunstorm, Leadsat and Radcube are on their way it's a huge moment for everybody who's involved it must be quite something watching your babies lift off from the pad getting a great view here we can still see the launcher one minute and 25 seconds after liftoff we're looking here at the he's telling us that everything's going according to plan we were looking back there at the main state or the uh, first stage the p80 the engine of the p80 it's known as burning we tucked in behind the clouds for a bit but we came out again so we got a great view this is what it looks like up there in space with our CGI images giving us a great view, we have confirmation there of separation of the P-80 and the Z-23 has switched its engine on. We are hurtling through space. Look on the right-hand side of your screen. At the bottom, vitesse is speed. We're traveling at the moment at 2.35678 kilometers and we're getting faster and faster. We began the dog leg maneuver. We were heading, rising up into space, and then we uh, turned towards the north, heading towards what we call a sun. He said the trajectory is nominal or normal. Uh, heading towards a sun synchronous orbit, which means we're virtually going north to south. Good view there of our launcher on the right hand side and on the bottom left you can see that's our trajectory we call it it's the planned trajectory and the white cross okay. is the actual position of the launch vehicle take a look at what we call the fairing the front of the vehicle it's you can just about see on the bottom of it a, a line that's because the fairing is made of two halves and it's going to open like a petal when it separates. Now, leaving Earth behind us. Trajectory is nominal. We're climbing. Look at the altitude, bottom right of your screen, 127 kilometers, and climbing. Z23. And we have separation there of the Z23 and beginning of the roll motion. Switch the engine on of the Z9, the Z9 engine, and we have separated the fairing. Did you see how it, it came away? All perfectly planned. We don't need the fairing anymore because we're out of the friction of the atmosphere, so we're effectively in space. We are 149 kilometers high that means we crossed the threshold into space about 50 kilometers ago and look at that you can see our satellite for the first time the gold structure on the right hand side that is Pleiad Neo all folded up right now all nice and neatly packed together but later after it's released it'll unfold its wings just like a butterfly coming out of its chrysalis
And then to the left of it is the conical structure. That was the payload adapter. Look, you can see where we lifted off. We came uh, at, from the launch pad in the, at the CSG, the Guiana Space Center in French Guiana on the northeastern coast of South America. The tracking station there is Galio. And we're heading towards the next tracking station in Bermuda in the Caribbean. And uh, you get a better view there of the conical uh, payload adapter. And then to the left of that is the big tank burning its fuel. So we're heading towards a sun-synchronous orbit. That means that our satellite will always be in the same fixed position relative to the sun. So that's very useful for Earth observation. Oh, wow, look at that. It's a really, really interesting watching how these maneuvers happen in space. And these images are the CGI images, which have been very carefully planned and all the information has been put into the computer and we produce these really sensational graphics. So the sun synchronous orbit is very useful for satellites which are Earth observation satellites because it allows them to monitor the same place at the same time every day. So for example our satellite might fly over Paris every day at noon. The launch is operating remotely, and there we go, separation of the final stage there, which means we're now really entering the next phase of our flight. The Z9, the third stage, has been jettisoned, and this means that the propulsion phase of the launch is now over. We've got ourselves away from Earth.